What's the haps? I'm Roker and welcome to Indian Sight. Today we're taking a look at Atom Smasher by Craig Perko, which is a kind of engineering construction thingy uh, about building particle accelerators, I guess. That's cool, I like particle accelerators, that can work for me. Uh, we've got uh, one option on the main screen here, which is mouse, mouse sens sensitivity, so that's cool, I guess. It is a Unity game, so most of the options are before you get into the game themselves. Uh, we have these, I presume, are a bunch of different places one can build a particle accelerator. Some of them are probably a slightly strange place to build them, like a mail room, I guess, and a radio station. Uh, I guess we'll stick to the basement and try and get going, I suppose. I have briefly had a quick look at this, just to try and figure out how it works. It mostly just seems to be clicking on things in the right order to try and get things to the right place to connect them up. Uh, dear me, remember to install Klystrons in front of the collider. I have no idea what a Klystron is. I don't know. So, we've got a bunch of various outputs here, and we can connect them to various inputs later on down the line, I guess. And hopefully make some power out of it. Because uh, we're aiming to make 80 elect mega electron volts. We're currently, copper pipe currently carrying one. And mega electron volts are a unit that I have heard of before, but I'm not quite sure what that is. Temperatures all seem to be in Kelvin, so we're kind of starting out at 273, which is uh, freezing point of water, zero Celsius. Uh, I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, because the rest of the civilized world doesn't use that particular unit, so if you use Fahrenheit, get with the times. Uh, let us use, I don't know, these seem to be kind of the things you've got. You got Copper pipe doesn't seem to do a lot, it just seems to carry the cable, I guess. And then you've got penny colliders, a collider made of paper and pennies, up to 250 mega electron volts. And a microwave klystron, oh right, these bits must be the klystrons, I suppose. A particle accelerator made out of discarded microwave ovens and an overclocked smartphone. Oh, we've got penny collider and micro, oh, let's stick with, let's stick with the klystron, there we go. So, install Klystrons in front of the particle accelerator. This is a Klystron. It is hooked up to power. Power is connected. That is a thing. It's making noises, which I don't know if those are good noises or not. I uh, got water is flowing in. So far, so good. It's got heavy power running along the top. Uh, is there any other inputs we want on here? It does have a water output which is 297 Kelvin, so I guess by going through a microwave klystron it becomes warmer, because the water going in is 273, it comes out at 297. And then I can sort of move the wall back. And then we have another section of Atom Smasher. Actually, another two sections of Atom Smasher, I guess, by looks of things. So I can change this to be... let's have another microwave. More of this. That doesn't like that. I've got heavy power going into that, so detach that. What I want is... There seems to be an element from what I've seen in a couple minutes that I've played of it, just to try and figure things out. Is... Da, 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 where are we going? You kind of need to seem to start, want to start at the far end and work your way back to these things, I think? So if I connect the power on there, that goes onto there. And then I've got another power output here, which could then go to that one. I've got this. To be fair, actually, tell a lie. Might as well have all of these hooked up. What I probably want is the power plug in the way. Power plug is not in the way. That's the one I want. Yeah. The nearest one goes to there. So that will go to that. And then I've got another one which runs all the way down to whatever I'm going to connect next. And I could put one of those penny colliders in. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, oh, this is where we end things? Oh, because then I can run a te- Oh, that's how we actually make it go. Ah, oh, okay. I understand. This is the extent of my collider. It definitely doesn't want that. I need, I need a heavy power input. Why is that heavy? Oh, I don't need that power. I need... What is this? This is a glycol connection. We need water. Oh. Whoopsie. Um, that's this one. So that runs along there. Duh, 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 duh. What are these? Can I... Oh god, you can rearrange the cables? Oh man, what the heck? I don't even know what that's doing. 
So I guess I get, maybe you don't need to connect them in the right order if you can if you know how to rearrange the cables, but I'm not au okay fait with the cables enough to rearrange them that well. So hang on, I've got why have I why have I got glycol? I don't need glycol. I don't even know what glycol is. What the hell is glycol? It's freezing cold glycol. It's 273 Kelvin glycol. Like glycol going in where water wants to be in. There, that's where it went in. Okay, I'm now gonna wa so that's 273 in. That is 273 in. We have that one, which is a 297 out. Where does this go? That one goes. Duh, duh, duh. So then it becomes 297 in. Oh, okay. So that one goes. Duh, 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 duh. That one just runs under here. That's an output. So connect that. So that becomes 321 Kelvin water. Okay, so it's a bit warmer still. Just been heated up. I imagine you probably wouldn't want it to boil like would imagine that would cause problems to happen. I should probably disconnect whichever power is causing me problems, or maybe I could swap see the cables around. Is that right? And then heavy power... Oh, it does, yeah, so you route that under it so that the red one can actually go down. And then, on the other side, you can then bring that back up. That is how you route cables around other things, I guess. So that then the heavy power is connected. Cool. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I guess the pipes you could sort of swap around as well. If I wanted to put the... What have I got going on? So I've got 273 goes in here. Then I've got 273 goes there. And goes in this one. The 297 comes out there. And... 297 comes out there. You've got different inputs of water, so I guess you could have different water circuits as well. You could have two different lines of water, and you could keep them going for as long as you got until they boiled. You wouldn't want it to boil, presumably. So then if I run a test on this, that only generates 75 mega electron volts. And I don't know what the deviations and vacuums are, so... So that's not good enough yet. We're not far off though, I reckon one more would do it. Assuming I know what I'm doing, and I'm very much pretending I know what I'm doing here. So let's carry on with this, let's have more of that. That's not going to work. Let's put in Penny Collider. There we go. So... Close runs in front of the client. So, oh yeah, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, well, the instructions are there. They just mean nothing to you the moment you get into the game. So you have, you have glystron, clystron even clystron, clystron parts that lead into a collider part, and you need to have them in the right order for things to happen. Otherwise, things don't happen very well or might go awry. You probably would not want them to go awry. So let's detach that. Let us put those back where they belong. Let us... Heavy power, no. There we go, heavy power goes into there. We do need... Power goes in here, that works. That's fine, we have power for that. Given that you get a limited amount of actual power outputs, uh, there are a limited number of clystrons, I guess, that you could put in there. You, water you can kind of reuse in this sort of in and out, in and out, in and out kind of system. But... So I've got... Is this right? That one's kind of, that one's kind of automatically connected, didn't this, I think? Yeah, this one's just gone 297 connected. It's fine. So I've got another 297 to go in there, yeah. So where water can be reused, it does seem like... Oh, that was an output. Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Where water can be reused, obviously power can't. Not that I'm aware of, anyway, unless there's some that have some extra power outputs later down the line, which they may do. That's possible. Slightly more complex atom smashers. Uh, does this all make sense? Does this all make sense to me? I don't think it's going to break, I just kind of want to do it efficiently, assuming I know how to do it efficiently. So I've got... It does tell you when you hover over it, it says you've got water 297k. Here we're looking at... 
I don't know what I'm looking at here. Water going to the left, 297. Pipes, water going to the right, 297? Which one's this? Let's detach out, let's connect output pipe first. Okay, so that's an output pipe. The output pipe goes this way. So here I've got... I'm not sure why I have pipes going both... It's, I don't know why it says I've got pipes going both ways. I'm not sure about this at all. They're both 297. I thought... So that one goes in there. So I've got a 297 out there and a 297 out. So I should be able to route a 297 in and another... That's an out. Why do I feel like I've got more inputs than outputs? I've got two water outs. One goes in, comes out. Goes in, comes out. Goes in, comes out. Alright, yeah, so I've used each of the waters. After the second glystron, I've used each of the water pipes once. And I've got to use one of them one more time. So now that does add up. I'm just confusing myself, I think. I think. And I guess we're good. Oh, I need a heavy power connector, don't I? Which requires me to undo that. Connect that. Everything hooked up. Got power to all the things. Got water to all the things that need water. I'm 8 MeV over. You can turn the front door. Sweet. I built a particle accelerator. This is, this is a strange beast. So, hang on. Let's see. Target 50 MeV. 30 Kelvin per second. Oh yeah, you can see what the Clydestron is actually doing. I hadn't really bothered reading this front section too much, but yeah. It is at 341 Kelvin. And it heats 30 Kelvin per second. Next one is 343. Next one is 344. So they're heating up slowly as you go down the line. Uh, they are making more MeV as you go along as well. This is a strange, strange creature. Okay. Out. Uh, let us have a look at. Let's jump a little further into the game. I don't think I'm gonna get. I don't think I'm gonna get anything else built. But I want to know what you get. I want to want to know what you build in the mail room. Uh, object objective: master the use of the throttle. You got actual industrial klystrons in the mail. Time to learn to use them. Should I? Maybe I shouldn't be stepping up that far. Learn to use the exchange stat. Yeah, I guess it's kind of trying to introduce you to new mechanics as you go along. Dreamland, target, non digi force. I guess that's just kind of a sandbox kind of version. And one TEV. Oh dear. Okay. Let's do some real science. Um, oh god. Oh, I accidentally started the level. Oh no. Just, just mild curiosity. What do I have to work with? Oh, oh, yeah. You got a lot of bits. A lot of bits to build with. Four wire cabinet, heavy cabinet, wave source guy. Right. So you actually have power sources to begin with. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Like crazy. Oh, and there's a super collider at the end. Okay. Definitely. Let's just let's go to the recording studio. Because I don't know what we're doing there. Okay. Tone Deaf Studios. Hey, we covered your setup, so just build the same thing. We need that sound just like your sound. Sorry, we screwed up the wiring, but sure, you can rewire it right, no problem. So, they are trying to copy... Hmm? I apparently have to... Copy my last one, I guess? Okay. I think what it's trying to teach you there is how to actually do the wires, actually. Which, to be fair, I already kind of did that. When it said the exchange stack, I'm guessing this bit up here is the exchange stack. I think. I don't know. I'm making a lot up as I go along. I'm making quite a lot up. Oh, what? You can put stu Oh, you can't put a cu custom one. You can't put custom Clystrons in. I was just slightly intrigued. Okay, so we've got those. I had three, right? Yep, and then a penny collider. See if we can master this once more. So, let's unplug all the things. With it, well, there's glycol again for some reason. God damn it, stop giving me glycol. Nobody uses glycol. Who uses glycol, honestly? Uh, probably want all the power somehow, one way or another. We're going to want power, and we're going to want the water. So I want all these outputs. Right, da, 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 da. let's connect up the heavy power first. Uh, we need power in. We need stuff in first. We have water. We have power. We have water. 
Going in. We've got water out. All right. Okay. This should this should be okay. Probably. That one's swapping round. Okay. Water. I think that's. I think we're all right. And water is 345. Okay, that's pretty warm. It ain't boiling yet, but okay. I think I've, I think I probably just used the same water water source all the way along, haven't I? So there's one that comes out here, goes along there, goes under, goes under. Yeah, there's one water pipe just doesn't do anything. So I guess what I really want to do is swap that. No, I don't. It's the input. This is the one I want to change. I can't change because... Alright, detach that. And allow me to swap the water pipes? Would you let me do that? Pretty please? Now where's that water pipe going? Yeah, this is this is clearly trying to get you to rewire things, interestingly. I'm not sure where I'm wiring things. It's not the most intuitive of interfaces. All things considered. Also, what power plug in the way? What's in the way? The power plug is not in the way. I don't even know what that means. Other than... Because it's not plugged in. How could it be in the way? Does this matter? Does this matter in any way, shape or form? The water's not boiling, and I presume that's all that matters. In this crazy old world of ours. I think... So... No inputs available? No inputs available. Oh, I need to. Oh, I need to bring the heavy power by, back up, don't I? I've not routed it back round the other side. So up there. That's that. Then I can connect it, and that's okay. Still not allowed to do anything with this. God damn you! What am I missing? What am I missing? I, there should be three powers, and I feel like there were only. There should be four powers, aren't there? No. One, two, three. One connects there. Two connects there, three connects. Oh, I thought I was missing one. I'm not. Okay. So. Yeah, I was pretty much just to let you learn to swap cables around, which I kind of got, and the water wasn't boiling, which is all that really matters in this world. I got enough power, and I didn't explode the machine. So, sure. Right, that's that's a very strange little... It's mostly just a puzzle thing. It's like, can you put the bits in the right place, in the right combination, with the right settings, that it doesn't explode and you get the right number out? It's intriguing in its own little way. I certainly think there'll be a... So that would suddenly get some people's interest, I think. That's kind of a strange beast. I'm not sure it's anything that's going to keep me going for a long time, but I can see some people would get a kick out of that. But yeah, there you go. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Maroka. This has been Atom Smasher. I'll see you next time.